Okay, so why is there a big fucking door? Okay, <laughs> okay, I got my answer. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> a big opening and there's nothing. Wait, can you do a turn around jump and then... No, you can't. You can't do... Why? You can't do a wall jump either. So stupid. Why would they give you a power-up that just takes away some of your power? I want to do my back jumps, goddammit. You can't even do a long jump! This is the worst Mario power-up ever. And that's saying a lot, because there has been many Mario power-ups. And who might you be? <laughs> Entire being. Okay, please stop it. No coin star. What? We have a 3D Mario platformer and there is no 100 coin star? This is- Yes, I finally got rid of the suit. Hey, Dragon Man, Yoshi or Rosalina? Who's best? How, how can you decide? It's impossible. I want a new Mario Golf game with Rosalina, damn it. Okay, so this is something I really enjoy with Nintendo games, as I've said many times. Is that this is the overworld, kind of, or the hub world. And the music right now is very calm and uh, simple. But th the further you progress in the game, the more instruments and more depth there is to the song. It's so good. Paper Mario Origami King does the same thing. Yoshi's Island and so forth. Good stuff. Oh, look at that! Fucking platforming master. Woo! Ho oh, ho! God damn, I was not expecting lava. Man, this is like yeah, Phantom Road from uh, F-Zero GX uh, story mode. I can't be the only one in the world who thought about that, right? And then we have this massive jump. It's... Holy shit, you know, this course is really reminiscent. Yeah, I fucking know how to do a wall jump, man. I've, I've played Metroid. Speaking of Metroid, holy shit, I'm looking forward to the next Metroid game. Samus Returns was good. You know, I, I enjoyed playing that. I just wish more people bought it. You're gonna suck so much ass today. You have no idea how much you are bad at this game. You are gonna fail and I don't care how. I'm gonna take a poop now. It's gonna be so fucking good and then I'm gonna take a little shower and I play. <laughs> okay. Of course it's Mario 3 music, goddammit. I grew up with that shit before you were even born. She actually does have two eyes. There's been some fan debate, like, does she ha really have two eyes? Why is this game so fucking cool? And better question, why didn't I play this game sooner? I've had this game in my shelf for many, many years. But I never sit down to actually play it. Until now. You know, this uh, version of this game is uh, pretty fucking good. The only thing that sucks is the color gradient. And what I mean is this. So you see this shining effect around him. You can see the banding, right? It's not a smooth transition, a, a gradient, you know? It's just a bunch of rings. It looks like shit. And from what I know, the original game doesn't have this. It's just uh, this fucking re-release 3D All-Stars, or 3D All-Shit, that has this problem. So I don't know what they're smoking. And I'm disappointed. In my opinion, the Wii U was fan-fucking-tastic when it came out. It was the strongest console, it was stronger than the PS3 and the Xbox 360. It had fucking 1080p, the first HD Nintendo console. The Wii U was kind of like this. If the game was in 30fps, then you had 1080p. If it was 60fps, you had 720p. So it kind of like pick your poison. Our story begins a very, very long time ago with a young girl named Opus. One day, this girl spotted a rusted spaceship holding a small star child called the Fox. What's your name? Are you lost? The girl asked the star child. I'm Luma and I'm waiting for Mama. She's coming for me on a comet, said the star child, who had been waiting day and night. Wait, wait, wait a second. We're in space. There's no fucking day and night! Don't worry, I'll wait with you, the little girl promised Luma. At nightfall, the little girl borrowed her father's telescope and peered into the sky. She looked and looked, but she saw nothing. Hours turned into days, and then years. 
but still the sky revealed nothing. How can we have years when we're in a fucking galaxy with a billion different stars? How do you even count time? Why am I so angry? Finally, the little girl sighed and said to Luma, if we stay here looking much longer, I'll be an old lady soon. But then she had an idea. Why don't we go out there and find your mother ourselves? The girl and Luma fixed up the rusty spaceship and then the two set sail into the starry sky. And this is how the search for the celestial mother began. Wow, Rosalina, you got quite the voice. Can you swim any faster? Holy shit, that's nightmare fuel. I thought this game was made for kids. Who the fuck designs underwater levels and thinks to themselves, man, this is fun. <laughs> it's like, what? I have platforming skills for the win. Look at this. Fuck. No, I want to do a wall jump on that thing. Yeah. Who's the man? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Applications. Sign up. What? Here. Okay, I am. I'm right here. I'm ready, dude. Sign up. I do have to say that out of all the Mario 3D games, these uh, stars are definitely the most... Um, I mean, just look at them. So nice. Did I break the gold shell? I did. But look at this. Fuck yes, I want to grab that. I don't know why I want to grab it. It just looks so nice. We take what we can get. Or actually, we don't. What we get is fucking three games. The first game is completely emulated. Shitty ass resolution. No fixes. Uh, bug and uh, speedrunning tricks are gone. Out the window. The second game, Sunshine. Can't even use a fucking GameCube controller with uh, analog LNR, which the game was designed for, and it's completely emulated. It's also 30 FPS when the game was originally planned to be 60. They could have easily done it 1080p, 60. They didn't! And then we have Galaxy, which is half emulated, as I said before. I'm sad, and I'm mad. And I wouldn't be if I wasn't a fucking Nintendo fan. If I didn't give a shit about Nintendo, and it wouldn't be such a big deal if Nintendo didn't set a super high, like, level or standard. If Nintendo was always shit, I, it would just be par for the course. But now it isn't. Sometimes, Nintendo, they're fucking amazing. I mean, look at this. Paper Mario Origami King. I love that game. The, the combat sucks, but it's still a fuck. it's a great game. Donkey Kong, Tropical Freeze, masterpiece platformer. If you haven't played it, do it, please. Mario Kart, good shit. You see, Nintendo, they are setting a standard. They have these amazing games, but then they make these stupid ass fucking decisions. And then we have Yoshi's Crappy World, and then this laggy ass remake. And then we have one of the best Mario games ever made, Odyssey. So you see, that's what makes it so difficult. The Switch is almost four years old, and we still only have two themes! What is this shit? I'm gonna stop screaming, I'm gonna stop swearing, I'm gonna be calm, collected, sen crims right now. What am I even doing with my life? What's the, what's the objective? The secret undersea cavern, okay. <laughs> now, now we get it. I would, you know, be happy to get that answer questioned. <laughs> Question answered. <laughs> and then we have 3D all shit. Uh, this one will be off the store and you can't buy this anymore. And it's just to make people uh, panic purchase it, you know. The sad thing is that it's working. The 3D all source collection has sold very well. And what makes me even more sad is that, hey, we can continue making these uh, limited time releases because then people will buy it. We make more money. And so why should we, you know, not do it? You know, that was, that's what makes me and a lot of uh, fans um, so disappointed in the 3D All-Stars collection. It's because just before it uh, got made, people uh, got the original source code from Mario 64 and made a PC remake of it, which is in, you know, 8K unlimited frame rate. I mean, there's there are no limits, right? It's amazing, and I've tried it and I've played it. And the Switch is more than capable of playing that or running it in 1080p60. There are no excuses. We have the source code, we have the PC fan remake. It works flawlessly. All we got was a bare bones 720 
4 by 3 re-release of Mario 64 with input lag up the ass. But I mean, just look at this game artistically and, um, you know, the presentation of this game is amazing. Like, you're flying around in these different planets and galaxies. There's so much uh, color and personality and the... What are we... Oh my god. What, what was I talking about? Man, I can't wait uh, to... What? Go... Boo, Mario! To vanish. Man, I wish I could. Oh, I'm, I'm so good at this game. The first hazard. The tutorial hazard. And I fucking die. I, I love the logic in these Nintendo games. He's stuck in this haunted house, mansion, castle. In a, in a galaxy planet. And... He's still locked in. I mean, look at this shit. We are locked inside here. We can't get out. There's no way for Mario to get out of this uh, predicament. We're stuck in here, literally prisoned. Ghosts can kill us. As soon as we fall asleep, they can go in here and kill us. This is a tragedy. And so, like, let's go home. We grab the power store and all of a sudden... It just... We're just back? It... Where's my story? Where's my immersion? I'm here on this observatory with my brony friends. There are no fucking bronies here, dude. Hey, you! Yeah, you get any tasty star bits. If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. I'm famished! I need 600 star bits to crumble the hunger pants. What? Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. I'm stuffed. Oh, here we go. Transform! Hey, 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 hey. Opus. Gay is okay. I'm gonna kill some eels if it's so the last thing I do. Not when I'm trying to copy files into a folder and Windows Explorer freezes up. Don't you just love Windows 10? Eely, eely. Eely, eely, eely. Get fucked. I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop saying that. I'm gonna stop swearing. No more lying and the swearing from the Crims boy. Stop chasing me, I'm scared. Oh, there's a red shell, I need it. We can't get age restricted. In the first minute of the video in the stream, we can't swear. Might as well stop swearing altogether. I paid 60 bucks for a mission like this. That's a reference to Age of Empires 2. We're gonna go to page, no, we're not. No, we're not. I want to go to this thing. I want to go. I want to. I want to go to this thing. I want to. Fucking hell, dude! Let me. Oh, we got the spooky, scary skeletons and a boo with a fucking helmet. You never answer my question on Discord. Oh my god, you're one of those people. Crazy on that I don't have that fucking key. I can just go around it. <laughs> Wow, this game is busted. <laughs> Imagine recording voices for Mario and then you're like, so the game is out now? Can I listen to what my voices uh, are used? Yeah. <laughs> it's a piano. I thought it was gonna jump out and scare me. Okay, this time I'm gonna finish. That message just says everything there is to say. Too bad. You are inadequate. Your gaming skills are lacking. You cannot beat this game because you're sucking the D. But thanks, Nintendo. I don't like time limits. It makes me scared. Nice. You suck. You got AIDS. <laughs> okay. Matter splatter. Oh my god, Opus, how could you? It's a kid's game! And you use the sentence, matter splatter? I would not have high hopes for a paycheck if I were you. <laughs> Why is there a big fucking beef in the sky? Me when Crims purposely misses coins. <laughs> okay. First off, why do I need the coins? Do I look like the kind of guy who is uh, short of a few? Do I look desperate to you? I'm actually dying here. Okay, can this game please stop giving me star bits? I need coins. Thanks. Speaking of money, you know what sucks? 
as soon as you have a job and you get money, then boom, in the mailbox, I get a fucking bill for $1,000. Not even joking. And you're like, what, Crims? What have you done? So what's the point of working and having money when they shove bills up your ass? It's like, <laughs> you have money now? Yeah, sure, here's a $1,000 bill. And guess what? You'll get another one in three months. Then there's another thousand year bill. <laughs> year! <laughs> oh, the beef is in the way! You see, this is the best part of saying A but not B. Is that now you're sitting there and wonder, like, what? How did he get a $1,000 bill and he'll get one in in three months again? And then, can these... Oh! Stop it! Losing to pixels. Okay, so to answer your question, in 2013, I moved away from home for the first time. And I stayed at a student home and I took out a loan. And so now when I have a steady income, Lamau, you have income right now? Uh, how about you share some of that uh, juice with us? And I'm like, do I have a choice? No. You guys don't give up. Fine then. I guess I'll just whoop you up myself. You want this grand star so bad? You're gonna have to take it from me. Conveniently spawning Koopas. I have played Coop. That's the thing. I played Pony Coop. I played as Twilight Sparkle. I tried to get down to the uh, tr the tree brary. It actually has a very spooky ending though. He has been asking for Coop for about 10 years now. And I still haven't played it. And I never plan to. Because let's be honest, me playing the game would just kill everything. Because we have this kind of momentum going. We're, we're counting the years, we're, we're joking about it, we're referencing it. If I would actually sit down and play it, it would just kill the entire thing. Two cream streams in a row? Yeah. <laughs> and you know what the best part is? That Mr. Opus Man is working, so he's gonna miss everything. Oh, feel that salt wound. Give your significant other my regards. And not my best regards, just my above average okay regards. You know, speaking of cash, you, you wanna hear something uh, really, really uh, illegal? I don't know if it's illegal, dude. I just, you know, something happened that shouldn't have happened and it's it's for my benefit so as long as i keep my trap shut i will most likely be able to walk away with it you know it's it's one of those but it's not perfectly legal so maybe i should just stop there because if i do say anything then there's going to be video proof and it's going to go to court and they're going <laughs> to they're going to be like yeah on uh, that um, twitch.tv slash narrowcath ae um Slash video slash one five five six seven eight nine nine ten. Um, he stated at uh, for forty minutes that okay, <laughs> you get my point. Why haven't I played this game before? It's so fucking good. I mean, really now, the music, the gameplay, the everything. It's just such a good game, and I never played it. Nintendo is the best. Yeah. Can you really say that though? Can you really, really, truly, in your heart, say that Nintendo is the best and they're perfectly flawless and have never, ever made a mistake? Okay, maybe you didn't say that. All I'm saying is that as a Nintendo fan, you should be able to criticize them when they deserve it. You shouldn't be... I'm not saying that you are. I'm, I'm saying this in general. You should never be one of those um, spineless fans who, who just eats everything that they put out, you know? I mean, I've said this many, many times. I, I love Nintendo, and I, I have for over 25 years. But goddamn, am I disappointed in them. But then, then, you know you know what happens? It's, it's one of those love and hate relationships. It's like, they do so many stupid, stupid things. And then, here I am. I'm sitting here playing a first-party Nintendo game from a collection that sucks old ass crooked hair straws out of a goat's ass but look at it it's so fucking good crims tear insults <laughs> crims tear i don't know how to how to interpret that but okay why do the game designers make a tree ledge balcony thing and i can't stand on it it makes me depressed you see that question mark in the background and then you ask yourself why do I even want to stand on that ledge? It, it doesn't fulfill any purpose. 
How is this reckless little shitbag called Crims supposed to stay alive long enough to be able to play games forever? But if you mean for the rest of my life, then yes. It's, it's such a big part of my brain now. I could never see myself stop playing video games. I, I really couldn't. And I, unless I was forced to due to some, you know, critical circumstances, you know, war or something like that, of course I will stop. But I will never ever on my own intuition or whatever you say. For being a fur fag retard. <laughs> I like that you choose that the word yourself. Fur fag. I used to watch a lot of um, Kitty0706 on YouTube. Unfortunately, he's dead today due to cancer or something. But still, he made some really, really funny uh, Gary's Mod videos. And I watched them so much. And he was a fur fag himself. And so he made fun of fur fags. And in that sense, it was fun. It was obvious that he wasn't hating on uh, furries because he was one himself. It's kind of like when I hate on uh, bronies or pony fans or whatever. And one of the stream rules is no ponies. It's it, it's like, if I saw that on a stream, I was like, oh, why you gotta be so cruel? But since I am a degenerate super fan, then it's okay, right? The only thing is that if new people come into my stream and they don't know that and they read that rule, they're like, oh, he's a pony hater. God damn it. And I'm like, no, you're misunderstanding everything. And how am I supposed to prove to a new viewer that I like ponies? It's then fucking impossible. Is there anything on my stream that shows that? No. In before Crims, look at your fucking uh, room tour. I'm like, yeah. That's not a stream, doofus. Danger. Watch where you step. I mean, sure, I, I guess you can say that for every level in every Mario platformer game ever. Is working in Sweden as a game designer worth it? Why are you asking me? How am I supposed to know? I'm just a... De de you know, Dragon, I appreciate that you look to me for guidance. I, I really do. I'm just questioning why it was done in jest. As a joke. Well, I'm looking at chat! This is your fault. Right there. Too bad. The chat is too bad, not me. Turn on cam and uh, show plush. I actually have one, two, three, four, five pony plushes behind me. And they're all staring at the same screen. You see? That's the level of degeneracy we're at, boys. The game the game put a one uh, one up right there because they knew he would fuck up. <laughs> okay. I can't play this game and look at chat at the same time. Stop typing! <laughs> you know, I used to do that a little bit in my commentary because they do that in the show. So I said every pony and uh, any pony instead of buddy, of course. To be perfectly honest, I kind of want to do that because I, I find it, uh, you know, wholesome and cute and ador adorable and all that shit. But at the same time, I don't want people to go after me with pitchforks every day. So there's that. Y you know what else? They all have the ugly stingy hair. What? What are we even talking about, Opus? Who is having stingy what? I just want to do a turnaround jump. It was so easy in Mario 64 and Sunshine, and they just went along and they fucked it up. Your plushies, bro, dude, <laughs> bro, dude. <laughs> okay. You don't know anything about my plushies. You don't know the first thing about him. Wait a second, stringy hair. Have you even, have you even seen my apple bloom? Apple bloom, have you? You better look up that uh, room tour again, good sir. Because Apple Bloom has a very cute ribbon. She's almost best crusader. And she does not have that stringy, greasy, neckbeard mom's basement hair. As you so suggest. Uh, no, I have not. Uh, I, I guess I have. I've played it for like an hour. I saw that Yoshi was in the game. And I just died of ex ecstasy. And I, I couldn't touch the game anymore. I was literally afraid of it. I just remember the Twilight one. You see, Opus, and you call yourself a Crims fag. You don't even know the, the plushies I got. Liking him makes Crims a subspecies of fur fag. You know, if anything, I thought that ponies would be the gateway to fur fagdom. But I guess I was wrong. As always, I would like to thank you all super, super much for watching. It's been a blast. I've had very, very fun this stream. I am having so much fun with this game and streaming it. Take good care of yourselves, and I hope to see you on the next stream.